Justice and Constitutional Affairs Minister Nobat Mao will soon announce to the country the experts who are going to review Uganda's constitution. According to Mao, the commission will be comprised of not more than 20 people and there will be Ugandans of proven record of integrity to deliver the best wishes of Ugandans. We want the citizens to own the process. You know, we the politicians, we are losing credibility. Because before you open your mouth, people know what you are going to say. Ma was meeting human rights activists from the East African Partner States who called on him at his office to advocate for the abolition of the death penalty from Uganda's statute books. Uganda still retains the death penalty, but of course opinion is divided over no. this matter. So we would like you uh, maybe to consider it as an agenda item among those for constitutional review. So I encourage this campaign and I want to promise you that we shall consult human rights organizations as we constitute these bodies. Mao says he will soon be briefing the president regarding the Constitutional Review Commission and he pledged to include, among others, the death penalty. We shall hint on the issues that Ugandans want resolved and I'll mention even that of the death penalty. Mao has also revealed that a transitional justice bill is in the offing. The bill, according to the minister, will allow Ugandans to freely discuss a smooth transition of power. Which is going to create a national dialogue and reconciliation commission. We believe that that commission will help Ugandans to have difficult conversations. Who killed who in the past? Our father says he was deployed in a Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs to lodge the champion changes that will see a peaceful transition of power. Uganda has never seen a peaceful transition of government. Congo has seen a change of government peacefully. Burundi has seen a change. Kenya has seen a change. On the ongoing wave of abduction and disappearance of Ugandans, especially members of the opposition, Mao says the president has agreed and allowed him to meet the National Security Council to address the complaints of arbitrary arrest and abductions in the country. And we will speak about everything, the good, the bad and the ugly. It will be an important interaction because the security chiefs who sit in the National Security Council are the key decision makers. They are the ones who decide who, to, who should be arrested, who should be detained and where. Jingo Francis, NTV.